So in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the factors that affect diffusion and how we can apply this to solve the porous pot question. Hi everyone, it's Jeremy from The Classroom and let's get started. So here you're given a porous pot, but before we do that, let's talk about some factors that affect diffusion. There are actually only two. The first one is temperature and the second one is relative molecular mass or MR for short. Now for temperature, the idea is simple. The higher the temperature, the more kinetic energy the particles will have, the faster the rate of diffusion. The second one is relative molecular mass. The lower the relative molecular mass, the faster the particles will diffuse. So the lower the MR, the higher the rate of diffusion. Now how do you apply this to solve the porous pot question? So let's assume you have two gases, gas X and gas Y. And let's assume for now that gas X has a smaller MR than Y. So if X has a smaller MR, it will diffuse out of the porous pot much faster than gas Y can diffuse in. As a result, the pressure inside the porous pot will decrease. And this will cause the water level here to rise. Okay, so the, uh, as, the as the gas moves out, air pressure drops, water level at, let's call this P, will rise. And obviously Q will fall. Okay, so now let's assume, okay, if you didn't quite catch that, let me do it the opposite. Huh? So let's assume now I tell you that the MR of Y is less than X. Now if that happens, guess Y will diffuse in to the porous pot much faster than gas X can diffuse out. As a result, the pressure inside the porous pot will increase and this will force the level here at P down and Q up. Okay, so I hope you have a better idea on how this works. And let's see how to apply this to answer a question. Okay, so let's assume now you're given uh, three porous pots. Okay, and here you're told that you're dealing with, okay, yeah, let me just very quickly write this out. Okay, um, so a student carries out an experiment with three gases and carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide and of course uh, hydrogen gas which is gas X, Y and Z. Okay, so let's assume we're dealing with three gases all right, uh, but we don't know which is X or Y or Z based on the results, find out. So before we start, we need to first of all determine the MR. So carbon is 612, oxygen is 816, hydrogen is 11. Okay, so MR of carbon monoxide is 12 and 16. So we are just using the numbers below. All right, okay, watch out for that. And you get 28. The MR of carbon dioxide is 12 and 16 and 16 because it's CO2 and you get 44. The MR of hydrogen gas is 1 and 1 and that gives us 2. So in this case, hydrogen has the smallest MR, it will diffuse the fastest. Carbon dioxide has the highest, it will diffuse the slowest. So let's look at the experiments, yeah? let's look at the first porous pot. So now the water level here has risen up and what this means is, how this happens is that gas Y is moving out, diffusing out much faster than gas X can diffuse in. So what this means is that the MR of Y is smaller than X. Okay, once again, huh? if you didn't quite catch that, let's look at the second porous pot. This water level here has dropped and the reason why that happens is because the pressure inside the porous pot has increased and that is achieved when gas X diffuses in much faster than gas Z can diffuse out. So X less than Z. Now if you put all that together, Y has the smallest MR followed by X followed by Z. And that means Y is hydrogen gas, X will be 28 carbon monoxide and Z is carbon dioxide. Alright, so I hope this short video gives you a much better idea on how to answer porous pot questions and I'll see you next time.